Good morning. I'm Matt Sanders, city editor with the Columbia Daily Tribune. With me, I have Karen Worley, our food and family life editor. Uh, if you see a PNZ commissioner today, be sure to buy them a cup of coffee. A little bit more on that later, but first, Karen's going to talk to us about what we've got in family life. Good morning. I'm looking forward to tailgating tomorrow with my family, for starters. And even before tailgating starts during Mizzou homecoming, there will be house decks tonight at Greektown. And then in the morning, starting at 9, will be the homecoming parade. It's October 21, so that means there's 10 days before Halloween, which is an exciting time for children. In today's family life, we'll share a top 10 list of fun activities for families to consider doing in the next 10 days. It's everything from princess tea parties to spooky storytelling and uh, indoor trick-or-treating options. Um, also, a local dietitian shares some Halloween recipes that you can make at home with your children. I know I'll be looking forward to seeing that event list. I have a seven-year-old who will love some of those events going on, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, as Karen mentioned, of course, it's homecoming weekend. Um, see, she's representing. Karen is an alumna of Mizzou, as many people in our newsroom are. Um, so we also have some extra stuff about homecoming today in the news section. Uh, today, the first homecoming Hall of Fame class will be inducted. Uh, that's at a luncheon, and uh, we'll have some information on that and of course some more details about the parade and a map of the parade route to help you plan your morning tomorrow if you're planning to go out there. Um, as I mentioned earlier, if you see a PNZ commissioner today, buy them a cup of coffee. They were in a marathon meeting last night. Um, in fact, here's a tweet from one Jody Jackson who was covering it. Almost midnight, I hate it when PNZ commissioners and good news sources see me turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> Pretty clever tweet by Jody, but so they were uh, talking about the development code rewrite and the meeting dragged on for hours because there are a lot of concerns about uh, the things in the rewritten development code. Uh, so look for a story on that today in print and online a little bit later uh, from Jody uh, as he was there last night. Uh, other news that we have today, uh, Jody also wrote about IBM. Uh, IBM has had another uh, state incentive uh, rolled back because job numbers have dipped below 300, so look for more on that later. Um, also, and you can find this on our website now, the owner of a local business uh, was able to uh, get out of potentially some pretty severe legal trouble by taking a, a plea deal in a, in a weapons case, so uh, check for that on ColumbiaTribune.com. Uh, as always, you can get us by email, uh, by Facebook, Twitter, or going to our website. Thanks.